GP2010 has the ability to allow you to add a custom report to the home page. Here we're looking at GP2010 with standard out-of-the-box KPIs and reports. What I'm going to do in this quick little demo is create a new report. I'm going to add that to the home page. The new reports are going to be added using SQL reporting services. So I'm going to go there and I'm going to use the report builder. Go to report builder right here. I'm going to start the process here. So the first thing I'm going to do is to collect select a chart type. So I'm going to select chart here. I'm going to add a new data connection. So I'm going to go to new and I'm going to use analysis services. I'm going to build that connection here. I'm going to put a period in here. It's going to look at the local server. I find this analysis cubes already out there. I'm going to hit hit OK. Hit OK. Go to next. what I want to do is start building my report. I'm basically going to grab two items of data. They're going to be in the inventory area. So I'm going to open up, look at the inventory cube here, open up my measures, and I'm going to look at on hand inventory. So I'm going to open up that group there. I'm going to scroll down here, pull in the quantity on hand, pull it into my design area here, and then go down into the items here. I'm going to look up um, items by class and pull in the item class description. Now these are two elements of my report. I'm going to hit next. I'm going to select a bar chart as a type of chart I want to show. Hit next. I'm going to pull these items. I'm going to pull the class description into the categories, pull the quantity on hand into the values. Hit next. brings up this report. I'm going to select this style here. Here's my report. I'm going to make it look a little nicer here. I'm going to get rid of some of this stuff here. Don't need that. I'm going to not show that access, not show that access. Uh, let me change the title. Let me drag it up into the upper top of the report here. I'm going to change one little property here on the border. Make that none. I'm going to add a couple of filters because I have sample data here. Make it look a little better. I'm going to add a filter. And the first one is to have um, quantity on hand greater than zero. I add another filter and so my sample data has empty in it so I'm going to exclude that and now I'm pretty much done with my chart so I'm going to save it save it here and I'm going to load it up into the report server the two and then into the inventory and there's a separate special folder here that will make this report available in Dynamics GP 2010. So I'm going to load it into this folder right here and I'm going to name it and save it. Okay now that reports up on report services so let's take a look at it there. Go back to reporting services here, drill down on two, drill down on inventory, and then charts and KPIs. Again, this is a special folder. Here's my new report. Just open that up. Here it comes. There's my report right there. Now, let's take the final step and add this to GP2010 onto the home page. So what I'm going to do is go back to 2010 here, hit customize this page, open up the metrics, I'll scroll down, scroll down here and you can see that I have my new report added on here. I'm going to add that into the list and I'm going to move it up to the top and let's take the customer balances off. Hit OK. Hit OK again. It's going to refresh the home page and there I've got my new chart. 
So this is a new functionality in GP2010 allows users to add reports to their home page. This is going to be a very useful functionality within GP2010. I think when you upgrade it to GP2010 you're going to really like this. It'll also give you some exposure, further exposure to SQL Server reporting services.